forestry is really a passion and it's it's a lifelong commitment i think to be a forester you're you're tied to the land and you're tied to being a steward of the land for the public the public trusts in us to manage this landscape so being a forester and having that responsibility working with other foresters it's a professional camaraderie that we all have that same passion and we all have a goal to carry through with proper forest management. When I pull up to this harvest site here, post timber harvest, I see this slash left behind. Why does it look like this? Well, I can tell you why. And one of the, one of the best reasons we're leaving this slash behind is it's a benefit to the wildlife to be able to use that slash for cover. And it, it's also a benefit to the soil. We're returning nitrogen back to the soil. What I also see down the hill here, post timber harvest, is advanced regeneration. I'm looking right at some white pine left behind. And that's great for diversity of the stand here in terms of tree species. All right, oh, I think I found them. All right. Awesome. So this right here is a male Eastern box turtle. We put transmitters, which is what this little device is that's glued onto the carapace. And we are able to radio telemetry or track these turtles throughout this recent timber sale. And really it's just to get an idea of the effects of different types of uh, forest management on eastern box turtles. And in particular, we're finding that after this recent timber sale that the box turtles are not leaving the timber sale. They are staying within the timber sale. And that's probably due to the fact that there's a lot of slash, a lot of uh, cover for them. There's a lot of food resources anthropods from dead and decaying wood. There's a lot of opportunity for them to find cover from predators. It's crazy how resilient Mother Nature is and, and how quick it responds to these disturbances. You know, this site uh, has kind of had everything thrown at it. You know, we've, we've sprayed this site for nuisance and invasive species. We did a prescribed fire here. Uh, to try to get out some more of that undesirable birch that was a component here and now we're taking the overstory off so three different management techniques all used together uh, to try to achieve that that goal of, of quality habitat um, of desirable species so it's, it's a pretty cool sight to see as land managers we are managing for biodiversity we are managing for the fungus, the bacteria, the decaying logs, the hollow trees. We're also doing different types of forest management techniques, um, such as you know an early successional forest where we're taking out a lot of trees, but we're allowing a lot of young forests to regenerate. All right, Andy, so this is the IO Jacket timber sale we did uh, two years ago. So this will be the, the second green up or growing season here. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Um, we got a lot of desirable regen coming in. Um, there's a lot of oak and stuff coming up. I do see a, a few issues with some, maybe some hay scented fern um, or a few ailanthus. But overall, uh, I'm really happy with the outcome uh, and the diversity of seedlings that we're getting to come back in here with the natural regeneration. We're doing these sales real estate and yeah there there is a monetary benefit to the disposal of timber and receiving those funds but the good news is that money Raystown Lake they can take and reinvest the revenue from the sale into the, all these good projects that they're talking about out there on the landscape you know the planting of trees and having the bird boxes put up and interpretive signs that we saw out there and I, I think it all comes full circle 